Hi folks, I'm Dr. Sadie Wasatsky and today I'm going to be showing you how to use one of our newest methods, multi-hit, on datamonkey.org. So if you're not there already, navigate over to datamonkey.org, select the Methods and Tools drop-down, and choose multi-hit from the list. Then choose the alignment file you want to analyze, make sure you have the right genetic code, and decide if you want to use a separate parameter for synonymous triple hit substitutions. You would use this if you suspect serine island jumping may play a role in how your sequence has evolved, or if you're just generally curious about the impact synonymous islands may be having separately from other types of triple hits. Then decide how many rate classes you want to use and enter your email and hit Run Analysis. So while that's running, we can look at a finished version of the results in this tab. So like with all DataMonkey analyses, you can view the results here in your browser or you can save it as a JSON and view it elsewhere. Starting off, we see the likelihood test results. When multi-hit runs, it performs several pairwise tests of models against each other, and the results are displayed here. So this is the pairwise likelihood ratio test for the triple hit versus the single hit, for the double hit versus the single hit, and here we see one that is the triple hit synonymous island versus the double hit. Each of these tests have the likelihood ratio test statistic and a p-value associated with that. If you want to know more about how each model is parameterized, you can click here, which will take you to a page with more information about the method and the definitions of each model type and the parameters that are estimated in each model. So going back to the results, we can scroll down and look at the site-wise plot and see how the evidence ratios change based on the models. This can allow us to look at how many sites are potentially contributing to the signal we see above. For, for example, when we look at the evidence ratios for triple hits with synonymous islands versus double hits, we see that there are these two sites that contribute greatly to the signal, while most of the rest of the sites are, have an evidence ratio below two. Then if we look at triple hits versus triple hits with islands, we see that the general evidence ratio for sites are lower overall, but there are more sites with higher evidence ratios. This suggests that the signal for the triple hits is spread across the gene, but evidence for islands is restricted to a few sites. We can also plot the site log likelihood on this graph for each of the models that was fit to the data, and we can see how this changes slightly based on the model we choose. Then scrolling down, we see that there's a site-wise table with the site log likelihoods right now for each of these models. And we can actually change what this table is by clicking the evidence ratios. So now we can see this is the table of evidence ratios. And we can actually sort this table based on the triple hit versus the double hit model likelihood ratio test. And we can actually see which sites probably contributed highly to that based on their evidence ratio. So then if we continue scrolling down, we can see this circos plot for site substitutions. Basically here, this is showing the flow of substitutions from one codon to another. So you can highlight and see where the flow is going. You can also change the number of nucleotides that are simultaneously changing. So when we have two, we see 
there are a lot more changes. There's a lot more diversity. And you can crank that down to one and see there are a lot more single nucleotide changes. So below this plot, there's also a table which tells us the source codon and the target codon, as well as the source amino acid and the target amino acid, and then the number of substitutions that fall into each of these categories. So for example, we can sort by the source amino acid, and we can see these are all of the um, codons that have a source amino acid of serine and what they change to and how many times they change. So you can export this table or this graph if you want. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, you can find us on Twitter at hi-fi underscore software, or you can find us on our GitHub, which will be linked in the description below, as well as the method and the data set that were used in this analysis tutorial. Thank you for watching.